Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 88. My name is Tanya. Well, we're out, we're back at it again. I got you this view. You're gonna see trucks going by, you're gonna see all kinds of things. But what we wanna focus on is what is in front of us. I pre-drawed a shuffled four different cards, four different decks, okay? So let's see, speaking your truth is over there on the left. And that is gonna be from, what is it, the New Orleans Oracle? This one, the Magician right there, that is from Ancestors. Yeah, I believe that's what it is. Uh, messages from Ancestors. This one right here is the Wisdom of the Oracle, and this one right here is the Hero's Journey. Let's start over here, speaking your truth. Apparently, there's a situation here where you have kept quiet about a certain thing, a certain relationship, a certain truth, and you haven't been honest with the person that you care about or you love about how you felt about them or what's been going on in your life. All right, that's one of them. That's speaking your truth. Spirit's saying it's time for you to speak your truth. This one right here, magician. This is from the ancestors. So you might have a magician in your ancestry or you might be one yourself. You might be manifesting this relationship at this time. But what it's saying is that in order for that to happen, it has to be a pure at heart. There can't be no trickery, illusions, or lies when you are manifesting. And sometimes that manifestation takes time. It's not an instantaneous happening, whatever you're manifesting. And it has to be a purity there. Otherwise, it's gonna be blocked. The never ending story is the narratives that you say to yourself. Maybe you believe a certain truth about something. Maybe you believe that you shouldn't be happy in life. Maybe you believe that something's not gonna work out and you keep saying that in your head because maybe in the past that was your truth. But by you saying that you're blocking any type of beginning with this person, any type of happiness that you could have with this person. What it's saying here is that you know, um, have compassion for that part of you that believes those narratives. None of them were ever true anyways, but it's something that you might be vulnerable in a certain situation, especially in relationships, you might feel that way. There's that story that's woven through the imperfect fabric of life that tells of hurt and loss, rejection and humiliation, self-loathing and arrogance, and all manner of suffering born of unnecessary dramas. It's an old story who's refrained that you cannot do this, must not go there, should not say that, least your world come crumbling down. Today, know that none of that is actually true. The sky is not falling. That voice you hear is just a small, scared, conditioned part of you that got stuck in a lie, wants to protect you and needs to be seen as a victim. Love that lost piece of you. Fear is all it knows. Distorted guidance is preventing you from being true to yourself. You are not your story. And that narrative is simply the voice of your fearful part, small and vulnerable and easily soothed. So that's what it's saying here. Maybe that's why you haven't been truthful with this person because you fear that it won't work out. Spirit's saying, love that part of you, but it's not true. It's not true. And stop being stuck. You're not stuck. There's no place like home. Okay, what it's saying here is that home is that calm, beautiful place, maybe of the past when you grew up, or maybe at home is symbolic of what we strive to return to, right? The elixir, the hiding place, dreams of that home you live in now, or your childhood home can represent your sense of grounding, identity, and belonging. The physical structure and upkeep of a house can reflect your physical well-being. The shape, size, and decor of the home, as well as the activity within it, all reflect how you see yourself or how you most like to see yourself. That's what it's saying. And home is comforting, isn't it? Behind those walls, we can be who we truly want to be. We can manifest what we want, right? Behind those walls, magic happens. That's what it's saying. So let's go into the tarot and see how we can further understand what's happening with either yourself or your person. I certainly do thank you so much for joining me today. I thank you for your likes and your subscribes. My name is Tanya. I am a spiritual healer and an empath. So let's begin. These are collective readings and collective being any energy, any sign, no specific sign, but I do point them out as we go along in the tarot. The spirit guides and angels, please Give me a clear message for the collective. Please protect me as I read these. The energy, please protect my collective. Thank you so much for your guidance, your love, your healing, and your hope. Amen. All right, so let's go into it. Let's see what we have to go into anything further here about yourself or your person. Spirit, give me a card here to 
You have clarity and understanding of what's happening here, spirit. But I think it's more like speaking your truth, manifesting your dreams, and realizing that whatever happened in the past is not your reality now. Well, let's see what the cards have to say about it. The cards and the tarot, I should say. <laughs> spirit, give me a card, please. All right, thank you, Spirit. All right, so it's saying failure, recognition, no recognition, disappointment. So something disappointed you in the past. We have Queen of Cups here. Cup energy is water energy. It's um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be yourself. This could be a person. Um, it says female, but ma it could be feminine energy, and that can be in a masculine as well as it can be in a female. So, yes, a loving mother. Maybe this is a person that you're thinking about that uh, there was a failure to connect with in the past. That could be what's happening here. Let's see. What else do we got here? Thank you, Spirit. Uh, Seven of Wands. Wand energy is fire energy. Uh, Leo, Sagitt Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Standing up for your belief. Maybe you had to defend this connection or maybe you haven't defended this connection in the past. Maybe you let this person walk away from you and now you want to defend this connection. Or maybe you're seeing... Thank you, Spirit. How did I know it was going to go on the ground? All right, let's see. Uh, or maybe you're having to defend it now. Maybe you want to defend it now. Take whatever resonates and leave the rest. Not every reading is going to apply to you. Check your placements in that situation. Let me push this up so you can see the traffic. Um, Knights of Pentacles. Pentacles being Earth energy, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Maybe you were lazy in this connection, or maybe your person was. Maybe it's at a standstill right now where you're not even talking to this person. They could have been disloyal to you in their broken promises. Maybe this person promised you the moon and the stars and didn't come through for you. Maybe they let you down on some level. Spirit, give me some more um, answers here, please, for this person that's tuning in so they have some clarity about what happened here. Or maybe some understanding of the person that they're tuning in for, please. All right, let's see. All right, Spirit. A couple more cards. This person's very tight-lipped. These cards are not wanting to come out today as far as with this person. I don't know. Spirit, drag it out of them if we have to. Come on now. You got the answers. I need them. Give me some more confirmation of what these cards represent, please, Spirit. I have no idea what's happening here. Oh, all I know is Spirit just threw out a bunch of them. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> all right, the tower moment. The tower moment. Um, something happened here, a loss. Whether it was abandonment, whether it was divorce, something changed in this connection between the two of you. Ten of Cups, Cups being the water energy. But you want complete happiness, satisfaction, or your person does. You know, their dream come true or vice versa. As I said, take it and flip it. Five of wands in reverse, they want an end of conflict with you. Nine of wands in reverse, maybe they gave up or you gave up. Or maybe there's a stubbornness and refusal to compromise in a connection and that's why it ended. Yeah, it says here, there's a bunch of cards that came out, so give me a minute here. Lack of direction, poor self-control. That's um, the chariot in reverse, eight of cups. Walk away again, double confirmation of that, an abandonment. You could have felt abandoned by this person. Maybe they walked away from you. Maybe you didn't know why they walked away from you. Nine of pentacles in the reverse. Instability, maybe they married somebody uh, for money. Maybe it was a money thing. Maybe they married, maybe they got, they, they got with a connection with somebody else, a long-term commitment with somebody else for, the, for money. Nine of Cups, wishes granted though. Your other wish granted though. Eight of Swords, Sword Energy is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Freedom. Maybe they're looking to take control of this connection. Maybe they're looking for a new beginning with you. Two of Wands, there was two paths that this person took. Two options, they're deciding to stay or go as we speak. Eight of Pentacles, because they want a commitment with you now. So whatever they, they thought that they were gonna get in the past, it didn't turn out the way they thought it was going to. They couldn't speak their truth to you, so they went with somebody else. But now they're with this queen of wands in reverse, this jealous, jealous, vengeful person, demanding person, unfaithful to them. You're gonna hear my son in the background. He's in the car with me. There's nothing I can do about that. I apologize for his, his uh, talking. He can't help himself. 
So just please just disregard it. If it gets too loud, I will make sure that he stops, but he is going to speak and talk and sing, does that stuff. All right, so let's go on with this. What's this queen of wands about spirit? So he turns, this person turned to somebody else and now they're realizing what they have with you. A couple more cards, spirit, before we end this. I'm gonna go with um, another card in a second here. I want to try something different here. All right, so they're making a final decision. They're seeing the truth for what it is. In the past, they didn't see this truth. <clears throat> Maybe they thought that they had to go in a different place. They wanted somebody more like themselves. You were different than their usual type. The world in reverse, they had lack of success with you. They were repeating cycles. This could be a person they returned to over and over again from their past. And they're repeating the same karmic cycles with this person, but they're realizing they want to get off that wheel, you know, the hamster wheel. King of Wands, but they're a leader, they're passionate. And they're proud, and that could be the problem, they're proud. All right, one more card, Spirit, for the tarot. One more card. But the, the truth is that they always cared about you. They always had feelings for you, but they were scared because their narrative was always saying the same thing to them. This is never gonna work out, it's never gonna happen. And they, they sabotage the connection. And now they feel Ace of Pentacles in reverse that it's a, a lost opportunity, a mischance. Yeah, because they were vulnerable and weak. Strength in reverse, they had low self-esteem. But now they wanna be like the fool. They wanna have a new beginning with you. But the problem was they were holding on three of wands in reverse, holding on to the past and had self-doubt. This is a person that needs to heal. But eight of wands, they want to move and take action towards you. That's what they want to do. All right, so we're going to leave that, the tarot for now. Well, we're going to leave the tarot. And we're going to go on to tea leaves. All right, spirit, give me some answers from this, this big deck. This big, look at all these cards. You want to see these cards? This is crazy. How to shuffle this, I don't know. But we're going to try, okay? All right. A couple of cards, spirit, for this. And then we'll end it. Thank you so much for joining me today. If the spirit moves you, please like and subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my soul tribe. And it gives me an energetic donation to my channel. It helps it grow. And I certainly do appreciate that. All right, so we have rat. Someone working against you behind your back. And this could be your person's friends. This could be they weren't really for this connection and they were working against you or somebody's working against you in this connection, working against the two of you. Box, you will receive a gift. So they want to give you a gift. Fly, a period of ill health or depression. This person could be very much in their depression because they're realizing the connection that they have with you. Leg, stepping into a new experience. Yes, they want a new beginning with you. Anything else, spirit? Seahorses. Family matters, certainly does. Family matters to you, family matters to your person. They want you to be their family. Shark, take care uh, or there will be a loss of material wealth. Yeah, maybe you're overspending. You might be wanting to consider that. Uh, be Pay attention to your finances at this time. Spirit's trying to warn you. All right, any other card, Spirit? Ooh, a couple cards here, let me see. It says desk, pay attention to your work. Focus on your work right now dog barking advice from a friend so maybe a friend's gonna step forward maybe you could ask advice from a friend if it's somebody that's trustworthy certainly not this person that's working against you though dark woman dealings or relationships with a woman with dark complexion or hair so this dark woman either can work for you with the vice it's saying here advice from a friend they're either a friend a shark or they're the person that you need to be wary of because they're a rat. All right? Just be aware of that. Keep your eyes opened. And your eye is open. It's saying psychic abilities. Yeah, trust your intuition. You'll know. You'll know who this person is. Well, I thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening, whatever time you tuned in. If this resonated, please like and subscribe. And join me next time for Empress Aries 888. Be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.